Shabbat Shalom, almost. I'm going to welcome Rabbi Bill Hamilton, Rabbi David Starr, and Rabbi Elizabeth Bonnie Cohen to talk about the Parsha. Hi, great to be with you. Hi, great to be with you guys as well. This week we get a number of instructions, the first round of instructions about the Mishkan, about this tabernacle that we build in the desert. And we get lots and lots of detailed um, descriptions of the colors and the materials. One part that has particularly drawn me is the kruvim, the golden figures, winged figures on top of the Aron Kodesh that's in the holiest place inside the Mishkan. And, that, and it says that that is where uh, Hashem would speak from to Moshe. And I wanted to open that up, see um, what you all think about that. So much of the tabernacle, its beams and its furnishings are about what I often call the side by side, the idea that we build togetherness by building together and that therefore the beams are sister beams and brother beams because they connect side by side when the shared effort is in play. The only exception is the face to face, which is the cherubs, the chuvim. And that leads me to the recognition since they hover over the text of the tablets of the Ten Commandments, connecting happens side by side, learning happens face to face. I love this image of inviting that intimacy, you know, that face-to-face -face encounter um, and the face-to-face -face encounter with God. You know, if, if this is truly the place where Moshe is encountering at least the voice of God, there's this sense of face-to-faceness and intimacy that's happening there. Um, I'm also just struck by the idea of adornment in general um, and the fact that we have this, this need and desire to make our our sacred spaces beautiful um, and, and to make them beautiful in ways that are deeply symbolic. Um, there's a tremendous symbolism that's, that's being conveyed here um, that's meaningful, but it's also beautiful. And, um, and that strikes me. I'm, I'm intrigued by that piece of it. Jewish life is being both very scholastic, right? It's about books and learning and left brain stuff. And we also have that you know, Heschel, it's about space and not or sp time, not space thing, Shabbos, sacred calendar. This is a great reminder that, you know what, the physical was really important in spirituality. We are creative. We want to build culture. We want to build spaces. We want them to be beautiful. We want to sanctify those things too. And I think that's, a lot of us are a little bit too disconnected from that sense of spirituality as being kind of physicalized. And I think that's a pity. I think this theme of intimacy and embodied um, connection with God uh, comes up in a sugya in Yoma about, um, uh, you know, at the epitome, at the, at the high point of Yom Kippur, on one of the years that it actually worked, that we were um, absolved of our sins, um, the Kohen Gadol pulled back the curtain to enter the Kodesh Kedoshim, the Holy of Holies, and found the Kruvim not parallel, but actually all intertwined with each other um, as this image of normally there's distance, but at this intimate moment, there's closeness. So I wish for us um, closeness with God this week and, uh, and a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.